The new year is around the corner, which means this is the best time to plan what games we would like to play in Platinum next year. For some of us, it would be games that we already own from the elusive backlog. For others, the upcoming games that we are really excited for. But what if I told you there are games outside of your scope of knowledge, patiently waiting to be discovered and loved. Let's discover more games to Platinum and bolster our Platinum Trophy Collection. What inspired this thought, and why do I care? Earlier this year I discovered Going Under, which turned out to be a great casual and Platinum experience. To my surprise, not a lot of people on PSN profiles have actually played this gem. I felt a bit strange when I realised this and wondered what other games are out there. So, I started devising a discovery method to find great games. I have avoided using popular gaming publications like IGN, new announcements or teasers from game events, and the nebulous vacuum that is twitter.com slash home so that I can create a bespoke method to find games I personally find interesting to Platinum. It is an evolving process, but I want to show you some ways to find great games in hopes that you find them useful. Before we get into the nitty gritty, I want to touch on a few things. There are ways to find new games on the PSN store, however the discovery features hosted on the PSN store does have a bias towards the AAA and high profile indies. Your best bet if you want to discover games would be through the new games and deals section of the store, but these do come with their own caveats. Sifting through games that don't pique your interest and the time consuming nature of scrolling down can become tedious. Regarding YouTube, a common tendency when people recommend games to Platinum is that they recommend popular games, games that you yourself already know of or have played, and shovelware games. This problem stems from the curation process. What makes a good game or Platinum worthy of recommending? Does it need to be absurdly easy and fast, or does it need to be attached with a familiar franchise IP, like Marvel? I am not suggesting there are no videos with great recommendable game choices, but they are few and far between. In some ways, trophy list review videos both directly and indirectly recommend games. When the reviewer outwardly congratulates you for a platinum and says they like the game, it is a direct recommendation. When the reviewer passes over a game because they are unfamiliar with it, it holds the potential to indirectly recommend it for those who might be interested in the game on a surface level. With all of this in mind, let's go over a few ways you can discover great games to play and platinum. Plat Prices is a great website to filter games by specific platinum criteria. Difficulty and Platinum Time are really useful to narrow down your selection. The additional platform, VR compatibility, genre and price filters are also very welcomed. You can also hide games with no Platinum trophies if you are so inclined to avoid those games. Don't forget, on the bottom of the homepage you can browse all games, no matter if they are discounted or not, which is helpful. If you sign up, you can wishlist games, add games to your library, and receive emails when your wishlist games go on sale. Using the hide game feature makes subsequent searches a breeze so you don't have to look at Far Cry 6 for the umpteenth time. An alternative website to plat prices would be PS prices. Both websites are great but I do like the heavy emphasis on trophy hunting with plat prices. Backlogged is more of a general gaming enthusiast website. If you're familiar with Letterboxd for films, Backlogged is the gaming equivalent. Scrolling down will show you recent reviews of games, but this is not guaranteed to show games for PlayStation. So, you go into Games section and apply filters. You can adjust the genre, game category, and most importantly, platform released on. Don't forget to check out the release year filter if you want to delve into an older or newer game catalog. When it's done, you get a great visual layout of many games to choose from. You can also sort these games by average rating to see what the higher rated games are. If you find something you're interested in, you can go to the game page. 
A quick synopsis of the game, average rating and the reviews will help you decide whether to check this game out or not. Be aware that trophy specifics are not displayed on this website. If you want to check, you will need to go to a trophy specific website like PSN Profiles. This is still a great user friendly website to get a feel for undiscovered games. Speaking of PSN Profiles, PSN Profiles has a few ways to discover new games. Let's start with the form section. The PlayStation discussion category has a lot of posts in them. Let's go into the PlayStation 4 form. The pinned topic recommend a PS4 game and post your newest PlayStation 4 game are great topics to start off with. You'll see what other players are playing and recommending. To be honest, most of the form topics are useful for inspiration. The most overpowered form is the community offense form. Most of these offense encourage players to platinum a lot of games. Each offense has its own rules and criteria. Players outline the games they want to platinum, so naturally there will be a lot of games you can check out. I would recommend the Platinum Difficulty Challenge by Reborn07. There's a lot of variety with how players have tackled this challenge and it's great to see how dedicated people are to these games. The leaderboard section can also bring some inspiration to you. Click on the arrow for the next page. Now you will see on the address bar, all question mark page equals 2. Replace the number 2 with a number in the range of 850 to 1200. I know this seems random but bear with me. Now check any of the profiles to see what games they have played. You are bound to see a game that you have not heard of or that looks interesting. To briefly explain the number range, I used the number range to filter out a lot of the shovelware games. This method will not filter all shovelware but I found much less shovelware by doing this. So you will see games that you like. Please let me know if this video was helpful for you guys and let me know if you have any other methods for discovering new games. I would love to hear them. Take care guys. Bye bye.